The sun made in South Korea successfully set a world record. After maintaining a high temperature plasma for 20 seconds, the temperature of the ion produced by South Korea's artificial sun is reported to be over 100 million degrees Celsius. This 20-second time broke the previous operating record of 8 seconds, which was set by KSTAR last year. In 2018, actually KSTAR's artificial sun could reach temperatures of 100 million degrees Celsius for the first time, but only lasted 2 seconds. With the newest duration, the sun made in South Korea also burns longer than the sun made in China. To make this artificial sun, the Korea Superconducting Tokamak Advanced Research KSTAR, harnesses nuclear energy to become a superconducting fusion device. Their work is also the result of a joint study with Seoul National University SNU, and Columbia University in the United States. director of the KSTAR Research Center, said the technology required for the long-term operation of 100 million plasma is the key to the realization of fusion energy. And KSTAR's success in maintaining high temperature plasma for 20 seconds will be an important turning point in the experimental operation of high-performance plasma, a critical component of future commercial nuclear fusion reactors. L. Later. Researchers working on KSTAR will work to help it burn continuously for 300 seconds with ion temperatures higher than 100 million degrees Celsius. They plan to do it in 2025. What is the function of a carousel in China in competing to make artificial sun? See the answer. Scientists reveal that the nuclear fusion reactor uses a strong magnetic field to fuse hot plasma that can reach temperatures of up to 150 million degrees Celsius. The People's Daily newspaper reported. Thus, it means that the heat generated by the reactor is about 10 times hotter than the sun's core, which can reach around 15 million degrees Celsius. Aims to solve engineering problems involved in the construction of commercial power plants. Among these are used such as to keep hot gases burning for months or years, as well as building structures that are durable enough to contain them. He added that no man-made material can withstand the cumulative damage from subatomic particles over years or decades. It took a long time to find the right material. Nuclear fusion energy has long been hoped to solve the problem of energy shortages, in which in theory, hydrogen from seawater could be used as a fuel. To note, the development of nuclear fusion as an alternative energy source has been started since the 1960s to the 1990s. A number of fusion studies have been built around the world, but in recent decades, new facilities have been added only slightly, due to a lack of progress and waning hope. Apart from China, the largest nuclear fusion reactor experimental project in the world, namely the ITER project, was previously the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor in southern France. And South Korea has recently succeeded in turning on the artificial sun longer than made in China. And we just wait for further news.